Hello and welcome to another tutorial on the WYSIWYG Web Builder. Today we're going to be talking about web page backgrounds. This is a special request video asked for by Janine. Uh, Janine, I hope this answers your question. I think I know what the issue that you were having was. Uh, so we'll go over this real quick on setting up a background from a blank page. So here I've started up a, a new web page. Uh, this is going to take the place, of course, of the, of the original one that I had here. Uh, we'll go to Page Properties, right-click on the uh, background, of course, click Page Properties, and go into your formatting area. Now, here's your background color. We're going to use greens for this website. So let's go with green, and then we're going to go down here, and we're going to click More Colors, because we want this code right here for our color scheme for the website. We click OK. Now we're going to go down here and set our font. Click More Colors. Right click on this and hit Paste. There's our code from uh, for that color that we chose. Click OK so it'll lock it in there. Go down here, click More Colors, and then hit Custom. Our font we want to be especially dark. So we're going to bring it right down here. We want it to stay green. One of these colors is green for anything that we do on our website because people appreciate that. So we click OK and this is setting our font to a really really deep dark green. If you click OK you'll see that the web page is rendered in a beautiful green background. Now Janine, uh, this this is something that I think you may have done that caused the issue that you had. Uh, if you have an image in your uh, on your web page that you want to use, in this case I'm going to just use uh, a green background that I already have built for another project that I had set up. So that's what it looks like. We're going to hit open and now we're going to set it. Normally by default when you open it up it's automatically set to repeat in both directions. If you do that this is what you're going to end up with. It will totally cover up all the background that you set for your web page and override any formatting that you do aside from that. Now we don't want that so let's go into page properties and we're going to go back into formatting and set your repeat to go either horizontal which is right and left or vertical which is up and down. In this case we're going to use it horizontally and we're going to just click OK. There we can see the image that we have as well as our nice background. Now let's put in uh, what I like to do is I like to have uh, background graphics to go behind uh, my font or my yeah all of my uh, text displays my ads uh, font everything. We're going to go here and we're going to paste in that color code from Bor for and hit OK. Oh, let's set this for solid because I don't like the backgrounds need to be a solid color otherwise it confuses the eyes and makes it hard on your readers. So now we don't want it that real dark color because we're going to have our font on there and we want it to pop out. So we click custom and slide this bar all the way up to the top here and make it one of the very lightest screens. I like about one block or two blocks down from the top. Click OK and that's the color of our background that our background is going to be. Now the border for your uh, blocks, usually I don't use them uh, but sometimes I do. In this case we're going to use one. Uh, I'm going to put this in here, more colors. We're going to paste in that code again, so we're right on to the same shaded greens that we had before. We're going to come back in here, click More Colors, and click Custom. Now, our border, we want it to be somewhere in the middle between the two of these, so it'll transition the eyes from the dark background to the light color on the block. Click OK. Click OK again. Now you see we have a light, a medium, and a dark. That's give it a little bit more size to the border. I like three or four. If it's going to be there, I want to be able to see it. Click OK. And there is our new background. Now I don't really care much for that fluorescent green that I've chosen, so I'm going to change that again. Click More Colors. I'm going to go Custom. I'm going to darken it up a little bit. At the same time, it'll tone it down a little bit so it's not quite so stark. Click OK. 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 Now that's a better, better shade of green. It's not quite so outstanding. Okay, we slide this over here. Now we've got this all color coordinated. We can right click on this, copy it, right click and paste, and here we have a background for our navigation bar and a background for our text as well. 
Well, I can't think of anything else I missed on the backgrounds. I think that'll about cover it. Again, my name is Don Hatton. I'm the SEO tutor and, of course, the WYSIWYG tutor. This has been a tutorial on web page backgrounds, and I hope it's, it's helped you out. One more time, I'll stress, if you haven't picked up your copy of the WYSIWYG Web Builder yet, swing on over to my website, www.theseoprimer.com, and pick yourself up a copy. It's less than $40, and it's yours for life, and it's a really, really easy program to use. Thank you very much, and take care. Have a great day.